It's been about six days since the last Sammy video because about five days ago he came out and he was a little off and back. By the time the vet showed up to figure out what it was, it was gone. So then I gave him a little bit of a light work yesterday and today, um, well, here we are. As you can see, he's lunching just fine. So after a few minutes of this, we went ahead and put him in the long range. And since Sammy is a thoroughbred and therefore brilliant, he picked up right where he left off a few days ago. And in just a few more minutes, we were able to start working on the canter again, putting the emphasis on he should not race off trying to do the transition. So as much as possible, I want him to just trot, 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 canter. And that wasn't terrible. But the canter was pretty good. So after a few moments of a reward period, we went back to work, and now my emphasis was completely on just keeping the trot steady. You can see he's excited. He wants to go try and canter again. And I'm saying, you can't rush. You can't rush. Nope, slow down. Slow down. Stay in tempo. Well, he snuck into it, and it was pretty good. And right there, I asked him to even go for more. So that was quite a bit of pretty decent, you know, canter by comparison to what we've had in the past. And so I'm pleased with it. I let him know, and he seemed to be pretty pleased with himself for having doing it, as well he should be. So after our little reward, we went back to work, and my sole emphasis and interest right now is that he stays at a steady tempo. So every time he gets quick and wants to go running off, I just stop him or slow him down and bring him back to the steady tempo. Because without a steady tempo, you've got nothing. So he's got to develop that, and every time we lose it, we go back to just working on that. Slow down, relax, stay in tempo. After we got him going, calmly to the right, went to the left, and he immediately decided, oh, I guess this means we're going to canter this way now. And got all upset again and started trying to run through the reins. And finally, eventually, he started to pay a little more attention. That looks terrible, but the contact isn't that heavy. He's pretty much just sticking his head up trying to pull through, but he isn't pulling that hard. And as you can see, it doesn't take long, and he remembers, oh yeah, it doesn't do me any good to pull on the reins. <coughs> and so he starts to just settle down. Although he still wants to canter. Which was not bad. <laughs> that was not bad. A little explosive, but not terribly explosive. It was certainly a little less terrible. And a minute and a half or two minutes later, I made a mistake. It's coming up now. You're going to see he actually does a pretty nice transition, and I stopped him. Whoop. I don't know exactly what I was thinking, but I goofed. He forgave me, though, a couple of seconds later. See, if you forgive them their mistakes, they'll forgive you yours. And we ended up finally calming down in a very nice little trot that I rather liked. And so we ended the long line work on that note. That looked like a real horse there, right? And so finally, here I am up on Sammy. I think this is only the second time I've been on him. I think I sat on him once and got off before he even went any place. But um, and I do look big on him, and I think it's my height 
more than my weight, which is considerable, and he's not used to that. But I think it's my height that gives him more of a problem. Um, he's just not sure how to deal with all this 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 weight up powering up over him like that. But he feels very much the way most green horses and most thoroughbreds feel when I first get on him. And I've just learned over the years to just take my time, or give them their time is probably more accurate. And rather than try and make them go forward or do this or do that, my attitude is I'm trying to help them figure out how to carry me correctly, which is by bending through their body and sort of stepping out a little bit as they move. And you can see right there when I when when, when he's doing it, he he seems to be okay, and he's saying, "Oh, this isn't so terrible." And when he loses it, and he'll lose it, I don't know, somewhere along here, they always do. Uh, I just stop and wait and help them find their balance again and build their confidence, and then they're fine. But it takes a little time. But I think all horses take time. And again, my goal here is to teach them how to carry me, not to make them carry me. And you can see how that inside hind is sort of stepping under, keeping its balance, and lifting my weight, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. And, you know, he's a typical thoroughbred, which is just bloody wonderful. You know, you ride thoroughbreds with a kind thought and a warm smile, or a warm smile, kind whatever. And just th think happy thoughts, and they're fine. Then when he stops, he's saying, okay, I'm a little stuck. And I say, well, fine, go ahead. Get unstuck and go. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better attitude from a horse, could you? It's just all heart. So I think I was on him for a total of four minutes, according to the video track. So I'm just going to let it run for the four minutes. And you can see what happens. No drama. Goodness, we're even going to the right now. Now, this is the first time we've gone to the right with me on him. You can see he wanted to fall in there. Right, let's help him and say, no, you got to move out in this direction too. He's not quite sure how to do it. Just help him out a little bit. Take your time. If he gets stuck, he gets stuck. Don't worry about it. I guess that's it. That's all there was for today. That was plenty.